The air inside St. Agnes Hospital hung heavy with the scent of antiseptic, and the low hum of fluorescent lights cast an eerie glow on the sterile white walls. Nurse Emily hadn't wanted the night shift, but with a shortage of staff she found herself reluctantly navigating the dimly lit hallways long after sunset. It wasn't long before Emily started hearing whispers in the quiet corridors. Unsettled, she dismissed them as the echoes of her own fatigue-ridden mind. Yet, as the night deepened, the whispers grew more distinct. Faint cries for help, tortured moans and desperate pleas seemed to materialize from the very walls of the hospital. Shivering, Emily glanced at her watch. 3 a.m. the witching hour. As she continued her rounds, the whispers transformed into shadows that danced along the edges of her vision. She turned a corner and stumbled upon room 333, a room notorious among the hospital staff. The door creaked open, revealing an empty bed. Confused, Emily checked her list. Room 333 was supposed to be vacant. She hesitated, but stepped inside. The room was icy cold and the air seemed to constrict around her. The distant whispers crescendoed into tortured wails. Emily's gaze fixated on the flickering fluorescent light above the bed, casting eerie shadows that seemed to take the form of ghostly figures. The room felt alive with the energy of the departed, a chorus of suffering echoing through time. Suddenly a voice emerged from the darkness, a feeble, raspy plea. Help me, please. Emily's heart pounded in her chest as she scanned the room for the source. The voice continued. In the basement they did experiments. I'm still here. Help me find peace. Fear gripped Emily, but compassion overwhelmed her. She resolved to uncover the truth. With trembling hands, she descended into the hospital's forbidden depths, the infamous basement where the shadows were rumoured to house the secrets of the hospital's dark past. The basement air was thick with the scent of mildew and despair. Dim, flickering lights illuminated a corridor leading to a series of locked doors. Emily, guided by the ethereal voice, found an old rusted key hanging on a nail nearby. As she approached the first door, a chilling wind swept through the corridor, extinguishing the lights one by one. Emily hesitated but pressed on, unlocking the first door. The room revealed a nightmare. Rusty, antiquated medical equipment surrounded a stained and broken gurney. Cold sweat ran down Emily's spine as she ventured further, unlocking one door after another. The voices grew louder, recounting tales of misplaced trust, failed treatments and lives unjustly cut short. Emily felt the hospital's tormented history seeping into her very soul. At the end of the corridor, she discovered a hidden chamber, a makeshift morgue where the hospital's darkest secrets lay entombed. A figure emerged from the shadows, a spectre clad in hospital scrubs. Hollow eyes met Emily's gaze, and the voice pleaded once more. Help us find peace, release us from this eternal torment. Determined, Emily began unraveling the stories of those forgotten souls. She delved into old records, uncovered malpractices, and exposed the hospital's darkest chapter. As the sun rose, the basement's malevolent energy began to dissipate, and the whispers faded into the silence of redemption. The hospital, cleansed of its haunted past, stood as a beacon of healing once more. Nurse Emily, forever changed by the spectral encounters, carried the stories of the departed with her, a guardian of the hospital's true horror. Stories to Standrews Hospital, an imposing structure on the outskirts of town, concealed secrets within its sterile walls. For years, whispers of inexplicable occurrences had circulated among the staff. As night fell, the building transformed into a realm of shadows and chilling encounters. Nurse Claire reluctantly volunteered for the graveyard shift, unaware of the sinister tales that plagued the hospital. On her first night, the fluorescent lights hummed ominously as she made her rounds. Patient rooms appeared innocuous, but Claire sensed a palpable tension in the air. As the witching hour approached, strange phenomena unfolded. Call lights flickered without cause, and distant footsteps echoed through deserted hallways. Claire's unease intensified when she discovered an abandoned wing, sealed off from the rest of the hospital. Curiosity overcoming fear, she ventured into the forgotten corridor. The air grew frigid, and the sound of her own footsteps echoed unnaturally. Patient rooms long abandoned seemed frozen in time, beds neatly made, dust settling on furniture untouched for decades. Claire's attention was drawn to room 666, a number etched in red on the peeling door. As she hesitated, a guttural whisper emanated from within. Help me, nurse, the pain is eternal. Fear gripped Claire, but compassion drove her forward. With trembling hands, she opened the door. The room was in disarray, as if a storm had swept through. Medical equipment lay scattered, 
and the air reeked of decay. In the center, a shadowy figure writhed in silent agony. Claire, unable to look away, felt the oppressive weight of despair. The figure slowly turned its gaze toward her, eyes empty voids. They experimented on us, tortured our souls, it lamented. Claire, now entwined in the supernatural, vowed to unravel the hospital's dark history. As the nights unfolded, Claire delved into patient records and hospital archives. The history she unearthed was more chilling than any ghostly encounter. St. Andrews had once been a facility for experimental treatments, with patients subjected to nightmarish procedures in the name of progress. Apparitions of tortured souls sought redemption, pleading with Claire to expose the truth. The hospital's malevolent past manifested in unsettling ways. Spectral figures in abandoned corridors, phantom cries echoing through empty wards. One night, guided by the tormented spirits, Claire discovered a hidden chamber beneath the hospital. A clandestine laboratory, stained with the sins of the past, revealed the extent of the atrocities committed in the name of medical advancement. As Claire exposed the hospital's dark secrets, the spectral encounters intensified. The line between the living and the dead blurred, and the hospital became a battleground for redemption. The tortured souls, their stories laid bare, found solace in the revelation of the truth. In the end, as the first light of dawn broke, St. Andrew's Hospital stood cleansed of its haunted history. Nurse Claire, forever changed by the spectral journey, emerged as a guardian of the truth, ensuring that the horrors of the past would never be forgotten.